Hello all. Um, I've got this new file here. I bought it off a guy in Oregon and I've uh, got some questions about it. It appears to be a, I'll cover up the serial number, uh, an Imbel receiver. L1A1 that was then put together on, imported by uh, CAI and probably mated to what looks like, I don't know, I'm not really an expert on files, what looks like some kind of weird kind of ban, you know, post-ban import uh, L1A1 uh, English inch kit. I say post-ban because certainly sometimes at night because it doesn't have any um, doesn't have any kind of muzzle attachment or anything like that in the English and muzzle attachments. Plus the fact that the let's see if I can get a good picture of it. I don't think I can. The the actual finishing of the barrel after it's been cut and there's a notch down here as well. So if you can see, see the notch right there. Anyway, um, yeah, the crown doesn't look great. It's almost like the the tool that could have chattered a bit. So I'm probably going to need to touch that. I have this taken apart right now. Right. Here's the bolt. You notice it's got the sand cuts in it. It makes me think it's some kind of inch pattern, British thing. Uh, all the serial numbers basically match, except of course for the receiver. I've got um, the actual rifle taken apart right now because um, I haven't I fixed a way to I haven't fixed the um, magazine release yet I've got uh, a choice I suppose what I did before was I actually ordered one of those magazine well, magazine catch releases from a guy on Calguns I think it was the Drickle or something and it's basically just a a steel mask that goes over or a cover that covers this magazine release right here uh, it didn't fit though at all. I think it was maybe for a, a metric magazine release or something. I ended up having to drill a hole through this and thread a um, put a thread on it and put a set screw in so it would bear against the I suppose could be the locking shoulder or whatever bears against anyway this piece of metal right here. So I'll either do that or see if somebody's got a but bullet button kind of release for a, a inch pattern. Uh, what else? The selector does have a full auto switch, but um, yeah, I, I thought the British stuff didn't have that. I thought they were just semi-auto. Uh, the insides, of course, have been, had the full auto stuff stripped out. The um, seller, when he sent this to me, must have known that the um, hammer springs could fly out because I couldn't find it in the in the packaging or anything like that and they're kept under spring tension so I have to order one of them from DS Arms so whatever you can tell me about this rifle that'll be uh, appreciated thanks